here here I'm sure you guys want to see the difference so this is the new LED light and that's the OEM light there I'll put that light on the high beam on that's the low beam and this is high beam it's gonna be way brighter on my 2019 that made a huge difference hey guys welcome to another video of Ben Mechanic shop so the other day we did the winterizing of the Sidu boat. Today I have another project. Uh, my wife have a 2016 Dodge Ram, and I'm gonna change the headlight, the are OEM headlight, and we're gonna put those LED C light on there. Uh, there is a little modification to do in those C light, and I will show you that later on in the video. But uh, first thing is, uh, let's take those lights apart. So for those trucks in particular, you have to take the whole light assembly out in order to do that. You cannot do it by underneath or by inside or by the back side of the light. So we'll take that plastic cover off here first. So I got the little uh, uh, trim removal kit that uh, my son bought me for Christmas just on Amazon. A little cheap kit, but uh, there's lots of neat things about it. So there's lots of uh, different clips for if you break one. Uh, for this video here, I think we're gonna use this and this one. Yeah, I think that's gonna make it easier because it's pull and push at the same time. There goes the clip. <laughs> one here is just gonna give us a hurt it's gonna rip right out oh well just worry about those smaller clip for now and then we'll deal with this later The kit comes with new clips because uh, those are getting through the, all over my driveway right now. No, this one stayed in. For this big one here, it's easier to use this tool. I don't know, it might be too late for this clip here. We might have to break it and replace it. Or maybe go underneath here and push. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. So we get this plastic out of the way. Alright, so now the next thing to do will be to remove the grill up front. So to remove the grill we'll do there's like four bolts, one, two, three, and four, and then the rest of the grill is just clip at the bottom here. But yeah, you have to put push that into a certain way I'll show you. So those bolts here are 10 mils. Skip those in the video. Okay, so with the magic of the 
video we have those four bolts out now what we need to do is put our end in here there's a clip here and then at the so you have to try to take this apart by pushing on her 90% of the time they break but that's fine because you're supported by the top but your grill is also supported by the bottom with some brackets there so we'll try to pry this apart so I just try with this pry bar here and uh, yeah looks like it came off and nothing broke here try the other side I don't know if we can focus on that. This side pop out too. I did the same with my 2000 and, uh, 2019 truck the other day and they actually broke so okay so now that those two sides are loose here so what we need to do is actually pry the grill into an angle like you were opening a door there. If you pry it straight or you pry it down, you're gonna break those bottom bracket. So now you wanna put your end in here as deep as you can. Try to support and push against your bumper from the bottom. Make sure you can see all of those brackets here. That's what we're trying to get out of. Okay, so that was a little bit hard there. Uh, so I just pushed it down, put my arm as down as I could, and then I was just putting lots of pressure here, and I was putting my body against the side in here to make sure that I wasn't going to twist this and break all the, the bracket. So now we just open it. Just like so. Now we have our grill out of there. I'll show you the bracket in the back side there. So you actually had one clip here. And then this bracket here another clip so now the front is open we can take the light out so we need this boat here that boat and then there's a, a bracket from on the back of it so we'll do the bracket first so now we go underneath the wheel well here and then there's a little clip here Try this open. Now this is open. And then inside here, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Inside here. Oh, you see this? White clip right above the wire here. Start to see a little bit, but anyway, I have to push this uh, tickets down, and then you'll be able to take the light out. 
So you have to stick your end on here. And try to feel for it. So it's pretty much right, like if you put your wrist and you twist it in there, it's pretty much right there. So it's easier if you put your, take the tire off or put your elbow at front of the tire and you can have your hand in the right angle, your arm in the right angle and then just reach almost straight and then you'll have the clip. So I was wrong, you have to push it up actually, your click. Okay, so now the back end is undone. Now I can just do those two bolts and then we'll be able to take the whole lice assembly out. So everything's done now with the rest of it. take those two out and then I'll show you how to pop the light out after. So now we're just, everything is loose on it so we're just gonna pop it out. So that clip that I released earlier that just to hold this pin here. Hold this. Oh actually no the pin goes in here and the clip is holding this square piece here so now we're gonna remove those pull this red clip back like this and now we can push to release the harness on this light for this one here we pull the gray part back so this slides back and then we pull this up slightly, a black part up slightly with the screwdriver or something and then we can take this clip out and then uh, you just you can press here after and, and release it because that goes up here when you're pressing the back end okay so now our light does not attach anymore so we'll be able to change our LED lights for it. Okay, we'll take the cover off. Those are the dust boots. Two dust boots, they're the exact same size, so that's okay. So, now those are our lights in here. Unplug both of our lights. Okay, and then we'll have the numbers on there. So that's the 9005. And this one here is the H11. So we'll open our box and look at the LED ones. So those lights here, I bought them on Amazon, they're the Sea Light Xeno Power LED light. Uh, the part number on them, they're the X001XY3G1N. And that comes with the H11 and then the uh, uh, 9005. This also show you who on the side of the box, uh, H11 and the uh, 9005. So there's what you're going to get when you open the box. So you get some double sided tape, a couple zip tie for later. 
uh, those trucks that that kit don't need to have a resistor in it so you're good so, and then those lights when you install them they need to be like this so the lead light are at nine and three at nine o'clock and three o'clock if you put them like this you're gonna shine up and down and you're gonna blind everybody so they need to be like this so now just lift this of the cord with the controller in the back it will tell you on here what this is so that's the 9005 so let's we'll start with this one so our 9005 is the one at the bottom of the light just turn it counterclockwise it pops out this is the 9005 that we need to modify um, you can see those tabs here up and down the bigger tabs here well bigger fins I mean so those show you that the light if you click it under up and down they show you that it's in the right direction um, so this one right now when I'm putting it in you end up being like this so now we can tell that the light is the wrong way because it's up and down so what we need to do, it's underneath this o-ring, there's a little screw here. So we need to remove that screw and then we need to drill a hole at 90 degrees in here. And then put the screw back in just into this little plastic ring. That's all that screw's holding is just the ring. So let's modify that right now. Okay. So I'm popping the o-ring out, I just use a pick for it. And you'll see there's a little Philip screw here. It's very small though, so make sure that you don't lose it when you take it off. So here, just to show you how small that screw is. And just a tiny little hole in it. So just take that ring out now. There's no other hole in it, so I just have to put another hole at 90 degrees in this. There's also no other hole into the face of the light here. So you need to do that in order to be able to install it. So the drill bit we're going to need for this is a 332nd. You can match it into your the existing hole there to make sure, but this is what you need. So you can do hole at about 90 degrees if you're not sure what to, where to put the hole. But it actually is supposed to be in, bit, in between those two tabs here. So uh, it goes right underneath the groove where the hole ring is. So just try to drill as center as possible in there and it'll be fine. Okay, so I just drilled a hole in it. Now we're gonna reinstall it on the light and it should be fine. Now just to copy the other one and so the screw fits better. It's 532nd to do the little uh, seat for the the screw head. So that's what we're going to do right now. So now we're just doing that so that where the o-ring fits because the head of the screw is a little bit bigger than the o-ring so we just need to notch it so that the head can go in and then the screw can screw in properly all right now that we're screwed back in we'll just put the o-ring back on top okay the o-ring is back on we can go and install it now okay so let's try this Watch have to put it sideways like this. And you twist to clip it. Perfect. See now, 
you guys can see that the tab is up and down so the light is the perfect angle now so now the only thing that we have to do is put double sided tape on this piece here and then uh, plug it in and then just stick it on the side there okay i put the okay i put the double sided tape now we just have to plug it you can only plug it one way so you can screw that up now it's plug you just stick it in okay Your wires all in. And press it to stick it on the side. Okay, so this one can get the cover back on. Take that H11 out of there. H11 doesn't need no modification at all. The H11 have a different O-ring, so you cannot mix it up there. It's a thicker, bigger O-ring. Just get pushed in and twist at 90 degrees the tabs are up and down so we know that the lights is on properly you just have to connect it and put your double sided tape now okay we got our dust cover back on we just have to reconnect the harness and then uh, push the light back in okay the harness is reconnected so don't forget to push your lock and tab back in and put your gray clip back on so reds up towards the outside, grays towards the inside, and then you have those, just those uh, Christmas tree uh, clip to push back in those holes here. And now you just want to align that pin here with this hole, and everything after that is going to be lined up properly. So when you put it in, the easiest way is line up your hole here. Of course, you're going to be a little bit more outside, but lined up so that those line up. And then you're going to feel some resistance here, and you want to push until you feel a click. And then after that, you just come into the inside. And then you just have to pull that clip back down to lock it. And now your light is locked up. All right, so the uh, passenger side, actually the new hole is at front of the small tab there the driver side was in the middle of both a uh, larger tab uh, don't lose that screw because you'll never find another one that fit that so the trick that i have is you put the screwdriver up like this and put the screw at the end of it then make your light touch it align your hold to it so you push the screw in a little bit and start turning the screwdriver. That's the best trick I have for you for this. Okay, don't forget to put your O-ring back in. So you can see the two larger tab here and the smaller ones at the top. So it'll make your light start like this here. And you turn it. It's perfectly up and down. Now, now to put the grill back on, you just make sure that you align the, the clips. And then you kind of put it square. You don't need to go on an angle for this one. And then for the outside boat, it's those tread here. And for the inside one, it's those treads. All right, after the grill, don't forget to put the rubber back and all your clip. You have one in the corner. There's a little plastic clip that might move here. You might have to realign that. So one in the corner, 
two big one at the top here and then you have two small one in the center I have to change this one and then uh, yeah, one at the other corner here and uh, yeah your trucks gonna shine nice and bright you shouldn't have to align your lights uh, because we didn't, didn't touch nothing for the alignment so it should all be just like stuck but way brighter so if you're not sure which uh, uh, number of bulb you need then you can go into your owner manuals book and then for the Dutch ram for example that's in the section uh, in case of emergency so replacement bulb there 170 so if we turn the page to 170 so now replacement bulb and then they tell you exactly which bulb number you need for every light on your truck that's the same section that tells you what you fuse what size of fuse you need and location and stuff anyway so yeah you have all the bulb number in there so you can double check in your owner manual if you're ordering the lights online to make sure you're ordering the right stuff <laughs> 